This video is brought to you by All-in-One SEO, the one-stop, the best SEO solution for WordPress. WordPress 6.7 is just around the corner. And of course, we're going to do a deep dive video on how WordPress 6.7 works, all the new features, improvements compared to WordPress 6.6. This video in particular is about just one feature, which I think is the most user-friendly feature, the best improvement in WordPress 6.7 when it comes to building a website on a day-to-day -day basis. It's called Zoom Out and it's very powerful, even though it's a very simple feature. Let me show you how it works on a live website. So right now I'm on a web WordPress website, which is WordPress 6.6. I've just done this for demonstration. So typical process of working on a page or a post is that you can go to a post, you can click add new post, and now you start adding things to it. So you can add blocks and the most convenient way to build a good looking page or post is to use inbuilt patterns, right? So if I go here, I can click this button here, I'll see patterns and the patterns, there are lots of patterns available now in WordPress. So if I go to all, you'll see so many different patterns. Now these make our job easier when it comes to building a website because I can just add things and change stuff around. So if I click this, now this pattern is inserted. And if I go here, let's say this, another pattern is inserted, I can scroll down. And then I can add this pattern and I can add, uh, let's do it to the next page and see some more patterns. So I can keep adding patterns and the page already starts looking great, right? It's a lot of different uh, elements put together. I can also go to portfolio and let's add a couple of more uh, here. Let's go to team. Let's add the team Then also add services. Let's add this. So now we have a great looking page done already. Now the problem with this page is it's very hard to visualize how it's going to look like. Especially when I'm adding or in the blocks menu, it's hard to see the entire page. So I don't know how it looks like. I always have to save the draft or go to the preview section and then preview the page and then make a judgment call if everything is in place. Come back here, reorder blocks around. It takes a bunch of time. Now WordPress 6.7 makes this a much, much better experience. So if I go here in WordPress 6.7, this is WordPress 6.7 site, by the way. So I'll go to post and I'll do the same thing. I'll add a new post. Now, as soon as I add a new pattern, you'll notice the difference. So pay attention to the screen. If I click the plus button here, and if I go to patterns, boom, this is what happens. The screen zooms out, and this is the feature. Well, you might think, is this such a big feature? Is this such a big improvement? Absolutely. And you can toggle it on and off if you don't like the experience for some reason using this button. So I click this, you can go back to zoom um, in basically, or this is normal zoom. And if you click out, you can always zoom out. Now I recommend using this feature because it's the default behavior because it will make your life easier. So if I go to the patterns once again, now you can see the page is much more, I say viewable in this area or in this aspect ratio or in this zoom feature. So if I scroll down here and if I click this, I can see it here. If I click this, I can see it here. And then I can scroll down, click and keep clicking, adding blocks and patterns. And now the page is much more viewable with this regard. And I can make an understanding or a judgment call whether the page is too long or maybe it's too much elements or most importantly, if I can change it and move things around. So what I'll do is I'll add a couple of more blocks here. So if I, let's say, add this block and if I click out, let's do this, let's click here. So what I can do is here, I can scroll around and see how the page looks like and it gives me a more cohesive picture of understanding, hey, this is how the page is going to look like. And most importantly, I can also reorder my blocks directly from the zoom out feature. So if I, let's say, want to uh, make sure that a story should come after this block, I can just click this button and now it's reordered. So it makes my life much easier because I can see the page, how it's structured. And also the same features uh, can be used or the drag and drop features of the block editor can also be used. So instead of using these buttons, I can always drag things around. That also makes my life easier. Now combining this with the list view feature is very, very powerful. List view feature also works with zoom out. So that's convenient as well. So if you don't want to just uh, like drag and drop things, you can always use the list view and drag things around. This makes your life easier. Now heading back to the patterns menu for a second. Now one feature that was available in a previous version, not a previous version, that means 6.6, .6, but a previous nightly version of 6.7 in my last testing was editing of the blocks directly in the patterns or directly in the zoom out mode. Now previously when I tested this, what I could do is I could drag or add a pattern here and always just click around and edit the text directly. 
Now in this feature or this nightly build, which I'm using right now, that feature has been disabled. So I don't know if that's gonna make it in the final version of WordPress 6.7, but I hope that it does because it makes life convenient when editing or editing things. So if I'm just here and if I click around, how it used to work was I could just click here and just change the text and type it how I would usually do in WordPress. Now in this current nightly build of WordPress 6.7, if I wanna edit things, I just double click on the block and the zoom out feature is exited and I have to kind of scroll around and then go here and let's say upcoming uh, event, something like this, I can change it out. Now, one thing that I would hope that it's fixed is that if I go to zoom out and I was previously in the pattern menu or pattern edition mode, then zooming out doesn't bring that menu up already. So I hope that if I'm exiting from the patterns block right here, for example, I, if I was here and I was inside this section, then double clicking something would or zooming out once again would bring me back to this section because let's say if I went to the footers, I found a really good pattern scrolling around and I say, hey, let me just quickly change this. So I do this and then I zoom out and everything in the scroll location that I've found is completely gone. So I wish that feature, or I say the fix maybe, or just a feature request that I have uh, comes into live version of WordPress, that if I have or edited just a pattern and I was in the pattern menu, zooming out would bring that up. It will save a bunch of time. For now, the workaround is simple. Don't edit while you're adding patterns, otherwise you might lose your work. So, but still, once again, even without that feature, the uh, Overall benefit of WordPress 6.7 zoom out feature is fantastic because it makes your life easier. You can look at the page like this. You don't have to switch between preview. And because the aspect ratio is uh, more desirable, at least, uh, if you have a really wide page, it'll give you a realistic idea of how the elements look like. Because sometimes if so many things are open on the page, it's very hard to see that, hey, here's how the page looks like, here's the typography. Sometimes the page, you know, page shifts around, the element shifts around because the aspect ratio keeps changing. So the zoom out feature also gives us a realistic idea hey, this is how the page is exactly going to look like and you can change stuff around. I really appreciate this feature and I hope you do too because it's a fantastic feature coming in WordPress 6.7. So this is my favorite feature in WordPress 6.7. Make sure to subscribe for the full deep dive because there's some powerful features apart from the zoom out feature coming in WordPress 6.7 and I've covered them all of them in a deep dive video. So that's coming soon. If you want first dips, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can get notified whenever the video drops. So make sure to subscribe, like the video, share this video if you want and comment your favorite feature or any requests you have for the channel. You're watching Raj from WBeginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.